If Daniel is living the best of the good life, it's because after saving for three years and working at two jobs, he's finally made his vision a reality. He loves coffee, wanted to make the perfect cup, so he started his own coffee shop. He's now working for himself and thriving on it. That's the great thing about being your own boss, you can start your day any way you like. Most certainly, I think I could think of uh, harder jobs, eh? As I understand it, your entire family has been involved with yours truly right from the get-go. My family has been involved and really supported from the word go. My sister flew down from London and she was helping knocking nails. My dad was uh, doing some carpentry. My mom was cleaning windows and sourcing cutlery and crockery. It's really, I've been very lucky with their support. When he first opened Yours Truly on a Saturday, he had to sell enough to buy fresh stock for Monday. With just himself and another barista, he did it. How does someone who studied textile design get into the coffee business? I've always been very entrepreneurial, even from a young age. And uh, when I was at school, I was involved in the textile industry, selling hoodies and lanyards and t-shirts to my peers. That tailored my decision to study textile design at CPUT. Um, and obviously as a young student, I had to subsidize my dismal income by waitering. And uh, as a waiter, I really enjoyed the interaction with people on a day-to-day -day basis and putting smiles on strangers' faces. So as a young student, I approached Standard Bank and approached them a number of occasions in actual fact. And each time they lent their advice and Standard Bank kind of molded my business idea and my plan into what it's become today. And voila, here we are. Well, it's obviously going very well. You've opened a second shop. Is it different to this one? I think, you know, the trick is obviously with each restaurant, you tailor it according to the demand of the public. In Long Street, it's quite a fast-paced environment where people are on the go constantly and uh, you need to have a space where people can just grab what they want quick in and out and carry on with their day. SnapScan really helps me in that regard just because it's one of the Standard Bank's products that really do define my space and the fluidity of the flow of traffic. Seeing Daniel's first shop up and running brought tears to his father's eyes, which only inspired the now 29-year-old to open his second outlet with finance from Standard Bank and some excellent advice on growing the business. Well, whatever you're doing obviously works because this place is cooking. What advice would you give to other young entrepreneurs? Nothing's unachievable. You know, I didn't realize I would be where I am today. But I think, you know, if push comes to shove, if I could redo it all again, I wouldn't change a single thing just because I was persistent, ambitious and driven to get to a point. So pick something you're passionate about and follow it all the way through. Yeah, exactly, Nico. I think uh, an important thing to start off with is uh, putting together a decent business plan. A business plan highlights all the flaws and pros and cons within your business model. I think rubbing shoulders with peers and people that you aspire to be like is also important just because you learn so much from them. And I think it's also just important to like maintain a sense of control and uh, approach it slowly and let it happen organically and enjoy the process. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Ah, Thanks, man. Thank you. Bon appetit. And you've got a live band. Fantastic. The legendary entertainment entrepreneur Samuel Goldwyn always advised people starting up in business that the harder you work, the luckier you get. And by that equation, Daniel's a very lucky guy. Standard Bank, moving you forward.